Hi guys, welcome back to another fragrance video on my channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. Now in today's video, I want to talk about my personal fragrance spray routine as well as some things to keep in mind when applying fragrance. Now this is a super important topic because there are not many ways to know how much fragrance to apply except for trying it out yourself. And I think it's really important to listen to the right kind of advice on this because honestly, no fragrance is exactly the same and also your perception of what smells like a lot of fragrance might really differ from what other people notice themselves. So I've personally experienced both ends of the spectrum on one hand where I was like doused in fragrance and I asked other people around me do you like my scent and they didn't really notice anything as well as the other end where I used too much of a fragrance because I personally felt that it wasn't enough and other people were like, what the hell is this? Why is this so strong? So it's really important to wear enough fragrance on one hand and also not too much fragrance on the other. And the most important thing with this is actually going for those compliments yourself and really asking other people what they think of your fragrance. Now, of course, if you're in your work environment, for example, you shouldn't do this like all the time, but you can do it with your buddies or with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or or with people that you just hang out on a regular basis with. So just be open and ask them what they think of your fragrance and if they think that it is strong. So that is the most important thing as a first rule. Ask other people for their opinion. Now with that being said, I personally have tested around 500 different fragrances and one thing I noticed is that no fragrance is exactly like the other. So there is no fragrance among these 500 that is exactly like like another fragrance, not in terms of its DNA and also not in terms of its performance. So of course you should wear different amounts of different fragrances. If they project more, you should wear less of it. And if they project less, you can wear more of it. So typically with an Eau de Cologne concentration for me or a very light summery type fragrance, I can douse myself in perfume. I wear a lot like eight, nine, 10, 11 sprays sometimes because it's just possible to do so because the fragrance is really quite weak week in and of itself and you really need to apply that much fragrance in order for other people to smell it. Now on the other hand if I have like a super oriental one like Ensa Oud or Arish Le Doré I sometimes only apply one spray of fragrance or maybe two sprays of fragrance and I don't even use my clothes because these ones can get really really intense and very strong and they also last for a long time so I of course use less of these fragrances as well. However my general general guideline is I use two sprays on the front of my neck, one in the back where my hair starts and then also if the fragrance is not like 10 out of 10 in terms of its performance but only like 8 or 9, I also use one spray each on each of my shoulders. Now I generally don't use more than that except if it's an Eau de Cologne concentration as I said or if it's a super weak fragrance then I'll also spray my shirt with it and my jacket and all that stuff and really go crazy but usually it's like two in the front one in the back and then if it's not like crazy beast mode atomic bomb kind of performance then I also use my shoulders so in general it's three to five sprays uh, just as a rough guideline now why do I spray fragrance on the spots that I mentioned well on one hand it's super important to spray it on your body parts that will get warm so for example your neck your um, your wrists or your elbows like the inner part of your elbow because the way that fragrances work is that they project off your warm skin. So if your skin gets warm, which typically happens around here and here, if not, that's like really bad. Then of course the fragrance molecules get into the air and they will like reach other people more easily. So that's really where you should apply your fragrance primarily. However, fragrance molecules also last a lot on fabric and also hair. So I know that some girls apparently do this. They spray it on their on their hair that's like a really good way to make a fragrance last a long time also your beard should technically be fine although fragrance of course contains alcohol which typically dries out hair so you shouldn't overdo it on hair in general but hair really stores fragrance molecules for a 
long time. And these are really the spots where your fragrance will last a long time. And also, of course, your, uh, your fabric. So if you're wearing clothes, you can and should spray them with fragrance if you want your fragrance to last for a long time. So for maximum projection, you wear it here. And for maximum longevity, you wear it here. That's what you do. And that's my general guideline. In the end, it really comes down to your personal taste. But I personally like to wear a lot of perfume. So when I'm really not sure how much a fragrance will project, I will go for one extra spray always. Because I remember that Tom Ford once said that you should, of course, apply a lot of fragrance if you love the fragrance itself. And I think that's totally true. So I wear fragrance for myself primarily and not for other people. So if I'm not like 100% sure how much a fragrance will project, then I will, of course, wear one extra spray of it. But anyways, guys, that's about it with my fragrance spray routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.